new Spear and Jackson. Cardless. Yes, cardless lawnmower. Because basically, I got this last year. But basically, the, light, the lead is just getting in the way. And because my garden is quite long, the lead is just not long enough. And when you use an extension, I've noticed it gets in the way way too much. And to be honest, it wasn't that much more for this than it was for the one I've just got. To get a cordless one, a top of the range one, with a three year guarantee. So this is not being kept anymore. Because it's not, it's not living up to what I thought it would do. We had it a year, but hey, never mind. On to bigger and better things. So today, I'm going to be doing a review on this unboxing and just showing you how amazing these cordless lawnmowers really are. How neat, precision, and um, low they actually do cut. What can, what can you grumble? A three year guarantee as well, so. Hey, where, where, where am I going to be in three years? We'll see. Uh, but this is going to be mint, so I'm just going to get it out and show you. Don't just love peeling things off, guys. Boom, nice and shiny and new. Okay, so it's fairly simple. It's a lot more simpler than that, I can tell you, than that. Quest. Quest is the name of the lawnmower I got last year. So basically, this is your 24V lithium charger. This is your charging station. So it only takes one hour, guys, one whole hour to charge. You get 35 minutes, yes, 35 minutes of lawnmower in time out of it which is a bonus and I went for it for three years guarantee so that's going to be mint. Now this is where it goes you just literally slot it in and it would already have a charge in so you just go till it clicks and away you go you are actually ready to go right now that is how simple it is obviously we need to attach the handles which I'll do now. And as easy as that, you just. <sighs> easy as that, she says. There's a little red button hit underneath, hit just here. Push that. And pull it out. It's like um, a clicking in device. Click, pull out. And there's the lawnmower if you need this one. And you even get obviously your instruction manual there. So guys, there's this something that I just want to show you. Right, so I'm zoomed in on this bit because this is a handy little tip I've just learned. So you open it, you've got your charger in, you want to know what kind of charge is left on it. You see that little arrow with a hand on, push it and it should light up, go to green, orange or red. As you can see, it's not staying on, that means there's no charge in it. So while I'm getting this all set up for you, I'm just gonna give it a quick charge. And this is easy as one, two, three. Again, it's the release with the red button. You just pull it out, okay. So you wanna charge your, it up, basically. So you put it on, facing, so the uh, bars face the metal bars. Push it on until it clicks, plug it in, and you're away. It will now flash, as you can see, while it charges. So how about that? We'll just leave that to charge and get on with setting this up. Easy set up. Number one, rotate the quick release to fix the lower handle in appropriate position. So this is exactly the same like my old one. The handles are attached by the lead. All you need to do is attach these 
with a handle, like that, like so. So I'm going to just do that now. They're not going anywhere. Number two, fit the upper handle and lower handle together with a quick release lock. These are the quick release locks that you get in a packet. So what they want you to do is undo, un unscrew the metal, it's not a screw, yeah, metal screw from the red plastic, like so. Then get your bar first, put it through the bottom hole, tighten it up, basically, with your locking screw. You don't want to tighten it too much because remember we've got to pull it up. Oh, like that. So then we're just going to do the other one. Like so. Then we're just going to screw this on. Like that guys. Screw it on like that. <laughs> like this. Now it's getting tight. You just need to lift it up. And then put it into place. Tighten it up however tight you want it to go. Step three. Secure the label. Secure the label. <laughs> Secure the wire with these wire clips. So I'm going to put one here. Round the... Oh, very nice, very nice, very nice. Like so. Switch that round. There. Another one here. Remember, where you put this wire matters only a little bit because, yeah, the leading end off. We're going to have to unscrew this when we're putting it down away in your shed or whatever. So obviously you unscrew that and then they will unclip enough for you to pull it down and away and you don't have to keep taking these off they will literally just hang there loosely up until you pull them back around tighten it up to the to the height that you require when you are low mowing so that is, is mint guys this is all done so this is our collection this is our collection box as you can see this is where all the grass will grow grow go uh, not grow it we're getting rid of it uh, even our spear and jacks on the side how neat and professional and amazing is this so we just need to fix the handle to the lid there we go one secure handle on your grass box next step guys we need to get our metal frames which are attached to our grass box where these clips are and you can't really see that very well there's clips underneath this plastic bit basically and we just need to secure it so i will do that now so here we go let's get this soldered so now we're getting somewhere there we go and now we can put it in the bottom bit where it should go like so second side that's basically like a plastic cover that just goes around the bar to keep it straight Bottom on. And it just clicks in like so. Looks like a bleeding cat or dog. A cat box, done it. That is our grass box done. So here we go guys, it is on. There. And there. Moment of truth guys, we have to connect our grass box to our lawnmower. To do this, you will see a safety lid there, which is on a spring. So you just lift that up, you just connect, she says. Wow, 
bike so and that was not difficult at all <laughs> believe it or not that took longer than I anticipated so I hope you can see because of the sun but this is the state of my grass at the moment it's not really that bad it's a bit longer down here I left it purposely because obviously I wanted to uh, do this today for you so this is my garden reveal Is how much grass it has collected. Lots and lots and lots. This, guys, is the final finish of how close this lawnmower did. It's the closest it's ever been. garden reveal. Pretty perfect. Beautiful freshly cut grass. So like I said guys you can um, unclip the uh, release bars to push it down but because there's not much in my shed, I'm literally just going to put it in. So it's up to you if you want to put the, the handlebars down every time you put it back in your shed. Thank you so much for watching. I hope I, I helped you decide whether you would like one of these cordless electric lawn mowers or not. Smash that like button and if you are new here, hit that subscribe button. And I'll catch you later, alligator.